Hello, and welcome to ESPN 3 times 10 to the 8th, where we bring you sports at the speed of light. I'm Patricia Electra. And I'm Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron. For those of you joining us for the, for the first time today, we're watching the Ping Pong World Championship. It's Master Tofu versus Sesame Chicken. Both of the contestants are from China. Now let's go see Sesame Chicken's corner. Unbelievable. I can't believe I'm losing to Master Tofu. He is garbage. He is no good. One to nothing? I need to get over this. What should I do? What you want, boss? Hey, I want you to get rid of Master Tofu. Break his hand or something. You think you can do that? Yes. Well, okay. Good. If you break his hand, then we're good to go. And I can win this game. So go get him. Alright. Whoa, do they know they can hear us and this is live? The whole nation's watching. I'm not sure, but let's check out Master Tofu's area. Oh my goodness! Okay, I guess that means that Sesame Chicken is now our Ping Pong World Championship winner. Let's hear what he has to say for himself, I guess. Now that I am number one, no one else will be number one. No more ping pong balls or paddles will be made until somebody can beat me. Good luck, but not really, because I'm still number one. Well then, I wonder how the ping pong world will react to this. No! Oh! Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. oh my god, there's pandemonium everywhere. Who's gonna stop this madness? Who the heck are you? I am Master Kung Chi Li Wai Dao Chan, but you may call me Mr. Tofu. Oh. You, Christian Ta, will be my apprentice for the Ping Pong Championship next month. Well, I was gonna go to my buddies and have a water gun fight, but I guess we can just go do that now. Excellent. That's what I like to hear out of you. Let's begin immediately. Alright, to complete your training, we will be completing a series of obstacles that will test your knowledge on Ping Pong. The first obstacle you must complete is the bowl wrap of doom. Your task will be to step across the bowl wrap without popping any of the bubbles. Any questions? No, that seems easy enough. There you go. Ow! Who was that? What the heck was that for? That was your punishment. You for failed. what? Oh, great. You see, Pressure equals force over area, and because your force is constant while you're here on Earth, you must increase your area so that the pressure decreases. Got it? Yeah, I can try it again. I did it! There you go. Okay, obstacle number two is this pendulum of death. Your challenge will be bounce ping pong ball through pendulum, not get hit, and get to the other side. Okay. Any question? Yeah, how heavy is the... No, okay, good. Go. Oh, oh. Okay, so you have a pendulum of mass M attached to a string of length L that is displaced an angle theta from the vertical. This pendulum experiences a restoring force due to gravity of negative mg sine theta, but for small angles, sine theta is equal to theta, providing theta is in radians. Therefore, theta can be substituted as s over l, where s is the arc length and l is the length of the string. So the restoring force can be written as negative mg over l times s. Because the restoring force is proportional to displacement, the pendulum can be considered a simple harmonic oscillator with spring constant of mg over l. The period is therefore 2 pi radical l over g. And thus you know exactly when you need to walk through the pendulum. You also know the speed of the pendulum because the potential energy it has at its highest point is equal to kinetic energy at its lowest. Okay, try again. Okay. Very good. Okay, obstacle number three will be you must hit evil sesame chicken with ping pong paddle. Test your skills at aiming. Not like that. First, we drop it from very high. You must aim it and hit it while it's in the air. Any questions? No, it seems easy. I'll do it. No, good. No. Okay, this time you see you hit the ball at angle, okay? You got that much? Mm hmm. Alright. Horizontal component and vertical component. You see they are independent of each other. 
And because acceleration due to gravity is the same for all free fall objects, you aim at ball up there, you hit it, same time it fall down. Okay? Got okay. it? Good. Then the ball will hit Mr. Chicken. Okay. Got it. Got it. Ah, very good. Next. Come on over, Tim. I must tell you of my new plan to get rid of Johnny Appleseed, Master Tofu's new little apprentice. Kill Master Tofu with five amps. We will kill him greatly. Go out and get him. Alright. Mr. Bear, give me back my Sudoku. I love that. Obstacle number four. You see ping pong table here. Mm -hmm. You see Mr. Sesame Chicken here. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, good. What you do? You take ping pong ball. You bounce ball. You hit table. It bounce. Hit Mr. Sesame Chicken in the face. Then when you win. Okay. okay. Any right. question? Mm, I'm good. Good. Ah! Ah, you silly white boy. You hit ball all the way over here. You see, angle of reflection, same as angle of instance. So you hit ball, come this way, it bounce same direction, it hit too low. Okay? okay? So, in order to hit Mr. Sesame Chicken, you must hit ball right here. Then the ball bounce and it hit him in the face. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Very good. Hey, next. Your next obstacle challenge is, you must wipe mirror. You see, you go like this. One, two. Wax on, wax out. Three, four. Okay? Okay. Any questions? Uh, yeah, what exactly does this have to do with ping pong? You see, when you swing, it's almost the same motion. And this bathroom has not been cleaned in many years. Alright, I'll, I'll try my best. Flex on, flex off. Flex on, flex off. Get out of here! I think shower! Get out of here! Christian, I'm very proud of you. Thanks. For white boy. You're done for today. Alright, I'm gonna go home now. Hey, can you hold this for a minute? Hey! <laughs> Oh my mousy dumb, that's a lot of amps. Jewel per second is a real life customer, not a paid actor. But to help tell her story, we've hired a famous physicist. It was a beautiful spring day. I had the top down, my hair blowing in the breeze, and listening to Furlicious. The amount of ultraviolet radiation was particularly high, potentially harming my so-called sun-kissed skin. Fergie Ferg's 80 decibelicious lyrics reached my ears with a dangerous frequency. I was just cruising in the hood. The force of friction propelled the vehicle up and out from the pavement. I was talking on my cell phone when all of a sudden Avogadro appeared in front of my car. So I slammed on the brakes, soared through the windshield, and snapped onto the ground. Due to Newton's first law of motion, inertia caused my body to continue moving in a straight line, even as the vehicle came to a complete stop. Luckily, Mittens Motors Insurance was on the scene within 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th seconds. Self-explanatory. Mittens Motor Insurance will be there in daytime. Make them boys look crazy. They always claim they know me coming to me. Call me. They say I'm the F to the E. I